So, far away Lucas. What are we talking about today? We're talking about Matt Gargan. The Scorpion. So far away, Lucas, as you often do, would you like to explain to the lovely audience at home the topic of today's Wiki Weekends? Yes, as I mentioned earlier, we are talking about Matt Gargan, also known in the Spider-Man Rogues Gallery as Scorpion. Yes, and we'll be referring specifically to the Marvel Wiki, a link to which you can find below. And we'll start, as we often do, at the beginning. And it starts with the real name of the Scorpion, which is McDonald Matt Gargan. Oh man, with a name like that, just doomed to super villainy. <laughs> he's too lame to do anything else in the Marvel Universe. Like, he's never going to be a hero, so he's either going to be random bystander number three or a villain, and he chose the villain route, and I respect him for it. <laughs> Current alias, Scorpion. Aliases. Let's see if we get any bad names out of this one, shall we? Captain Overbite. Not very strong so far. Kidnapper. Spider-Man. Then Scorpion. Then Ian Venom. So he must have been Venom for a bit. Why is and one just Kidnapper? Uh, maybe that's what his first job was. <laughs> just just kidnapper, kidnapper number three. I told you he moved up in the world. And then we have editorial. He did. He did. Editorial names. Formerly the Sinister Spider-Man. And then relatives, the Venom symbiote. Oh. I guess they are related if he bonds with his DNA. He has no other relatives. So. Oh, man, that must make his Christmas shopping real easy. <laughs> Just some Spider-Man themed merch for Venom and he's done. Anyway, so we have characteristics. Gender, male. Well, he would be with that tail, wouldn't he? Height, 6 foot 2. Weight, 220 pounds or 99.79 kilos uh, for you metric lovers. Eyes, brown. Hair, shaved. Unusual features. So this one's going to be a fun one because I'm guessing the word <laughs> biomechanical scorpion costume are going to be listed somewhere here. So we have, oh, scars on his cheeks from when Spider-Man ripped his jaw off. Oh, fucking oh, hell. Oh, yeah, that happened. Yeah, there's one comic where Dr. Octopus is inside Spider-Man's brain controlling Spider-Man, and he punches Scorpion in the face, and he doesn't realise how strong Spider-Man actually is and knocks his jaw off. Oh... And then he realises all these years, Spider-Man could have killed any one of us at any point if he just <laughs> tried. And it's super scary. Um, so he says here, when bonded with the Venom and Maniac symbiotes, oh, he's bonded with two at once, that's got him. Uh, the symbiotes granted him elongated jaws, fangs, claws, and a prehensile tongue. He doesn't actually mention his weird scorpion costume, I'm kind of annoyed like, really? by that. Which means he must be able to take it off. Uh, I think he can, yeah. Yeah, because I think it might be the rhino who's bonded with the costume. Unless uh, you're talking about Amazing Spider-Man. <laughs> Where it's just a robot suit worn by Paul Giamatti, who's like, I just want my fucking paycheck. Yeah. Um, so, Origin is a human mutate, so Matt Gargan underwent superhuman augmentation to become the Scorpion. History, we're not going to really go much into the history, but we do need to mention just a little bit, because there's one factoid about Scorpion's life I adore, but we'll start with a quote from Scorpion himself. You don't have to ask Smythe, killing the spider's always been our idea of fun, but after what he did to me, to us, we won't leave enough for him to bury. So I'm assuming that's after he got his jaw knocked off. Maybe, after yeah. he bonded with the symbiote, because that would probably annoy you. We have early life. So a former private investigator, Matt Gargan, was hired by J. Jonah Jameson to find out how Peter Parker was able to get such incredible photos of Spider-Man. Gargan's <laughs> efforts to locate Peter in order to find the truth triggered Parker's spider sense, making him easily avoidable every time. <laughs> so, yeah, already off to a pretty poor start. So we have here, frustrated, Jameson decided to pay Gargan, and I quote, $10,000 to be the subject of an experiment. The experiment created by Dr. Farley Stillwell, a researcher in animal mutation, um, which endowed the subject with the characteristics of another animal. Unfortunately, the process resulted in the loss of Gargan's sanity and the creation of the super-powered criminal menace known as the Scorpion. Oh, God. <sighs> Over the years, Scorpion fought and was bested by Spider-Man many times. Most of these confrontations were the result of Spider-Man stopping an attempt on the life of Jameson, who Gargan hated even more than Spider-Man. Scorpion even attacked Jameson on his wedding day. <laughs> Oh, man. Just, can you imagine? You're walking down the aisle with the woman you're going to pledge yourself to the rest of your life, and then a man in a, sp in a scorpion costume runs in and tries to kill you. <laughs> and then the guy you have been on a crusade 
to out as a menace, runs in and saves you in front of your entire wedding party. Yeah. And that's what I love about like Scorpion's backstory, because they mention it briefly in the games, don't they? Mm -hmm. uh, the Spider-Man PS4 game that we're playing through on my channel now. Check it out. Um, where like, J. Jonah James is like eating some crow. He's like, yes, I did pay Matt Gargan to become the Scorpion to hunt down Spider-Man, but that doesn't make me a bad guy. He's like, it yeah. fucking does. He kills so many people. Oh, God, it's so bad. But but you can tell as well, though, that was, like, really early in the comics. Because, like, oh, wow, $10,000. That's a, a huge, life-changing amount of money for anybody. Like, mm -hmm. Today, that won't even fucking cover his medical bills. Oh, God. No. Like, his Scorpion-related medical bills, man. I like this. Um, just as a quick section here, it's simply titled Captain America. Gargan was hired to follow Agent Sharon Carter of S.H.I.E.L.D., but this led to a confrontation with Captain America, and he was easily defeated. <laughs> I like that, right? The, like the first three parts of his entire history, I just, he was hired to do a thing, he failed. He was hired to do a thing, he failed. He was hired to do a thing, he fucking failed. <laughs> but maybe, well. stop, maybe stop being a criminal, you're not very good at it. So we'll move on to personality. As a private investigator, Mac was skilled enough to garner the attention of J. Jonah Jameson, even if he was a little greedy. After his transformation into the Scorpion, though, most of his previous personality, and I quote, went out of the window due to the mutagenic process reshaping his mind. Oh, God, that's rough. And all that was left was continually influenced by, and again I quote, the predatory instincts of a scorpion. <laughs> so we have powers and abilities. This is always where the fun stuff is. So, as the scorpion, McDonald Gargan possesses all the powers of a scorpion. Well, <laughs> I could have guessed that. As the scorpion, <laughs> McDonald Gargan possesses all the powers of a scorpion. No shit, what are yeah. they? Let's find out. When he acquired the Venom symbiote, he retained some of his scorpion-like powers and was granted the additional powers of the Venom symbiote, granting him several abilities similar to Spider-Man. Due to the removal of the symbiote, um, Gargan now has been reduced to his original scorpion power. His powers are superhuman strength. He is currently able to lift approximately 15 tons and as such can easily overpower humans. Yeah, um, no shit. <laughs> I want to say, Lucas, um, a man who can lift 15 tons can probably overpower a normal man. Yeah, maybe, maybe. Yeah, I don't think you need to say that. Like, they do this all the time, these articles, and it always cracks me up. It's like, yeah, you can uproot trees and use them as a melee weapon. You can also overpower humans. Well, yeah. <laughs> normal humans can't uproot trees. It's kind of implied. So he has superhuman speed. Um, Gargan can run and exercise at huge superhuman speeds. His overall body equilibrium is also heightened, although he isn't nearly as fast as speedsters. He has been shown to outrun vehicles, which must be terrifying. <laughs> you look in your rearview mirror and you see a man in a giant scorpion costume running after you. And then you look in your back seat and go, oh no, what's he after? And you see J. Jonah Jameson, you see on the front just married. Oh no. <laughs> Uh, superhuman durability. Gargan has superhuman durability. The Scorpion suit was capable of shielding Gargan from bullets from small arms weapons via conventional ammunition. He's also able to survive heavy impacts and blunt force trauma without sustaining injury. So, he's like somewhat strong, but he's not on like a ridiculous level like other villains and heroes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. Well, this, this all sounds fairly mundane so far, doesn't it? And it's weird considering he's a giant green scorpion man. No! Oh god, what's the way? How did, she, how did she hear me say giant green scorpion man's like, yes, he clearly needs my help. <laughs> to be fair, if I heard you saying giant green scorpion man, I figured you might be in danger. Oh, that's fair enough, yeah. So, um, well, here's one, Lucas. Wall crawling. Gargan oh. is capable of adhering to solid surfaces, much like Spider-Man, though he typically punches holes in walls to use his hand and footholds. <laughs> <laughs> he can crawl on walls, but just to be a dick to the architect, punches his way in anyway. <laughs> Amazing. And then we have here like his list of powers as um, uh, Venom, but we've already done a wiki weekend on Venom and it's just those powers again. So go look up that um, if you want to find out like, the specific powers of Venom. But one that is um, like, innate to Scorpion as Venom is this one, which is the symbiote generated tail. So the symbiote was able to replicate the scorpion's tail. This new tail possessed all the powers of his original tail, as well as the ability to project organic webbing and deadly venom. Oh, that oh, was so scary. Hell. That also looked really weird. That would, yeah. Like, like this, this long, thin tendril firing white sticky fluid at you. Yeah, not a good image. Um, Lucas, if you can, find a comic panel of that so we can all see how creepy it looks. <laughs> 
So we have here that uh, abilities, um, investigative prowess before he became a scorpion, or the third venom. Uh, McDonald's Gargan was a detective with some investigative skills. Only some. <laughs> That's so rough. Like, these, these are his powers and his abilities. Like, he's, he's all right. It says here one of his abilities is being a formidable opponent, which I don't believe considering every other line we've read today is, oh yeah, he got his <laughs> ass beat instantly by someone who wasn't trying. Yeah. So, weaknesses. Genetic defects. Due to his genetic mutation being unstable, without his scorpion suit, Gargan would die. Oh no. So he needs... <laughs> no wonder he's single. That's a really <laughs> tough sell on Tinder, isn't it? It's like, yeah, like, I can walk around without my scorpion suit, but I need it to live. <laughs> oh, oh, God. Oh, no, Lucas. His other weakness include paralysis. After having his spine broken by carnage, Gargan was left unable to move his legs. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> no. That's so rough. Oh, man. Why is this entire thing just dunking? I thought, oh, he's a cool villain. He's a weird scorpion, man. I'm sure he could do lots of neat, interesting things. Like, no, he's shit and got his spine broke. <laughs> he, he can't walk and he has to wear a scorpion costume all the time. Oh, he'll die. Oh, God. So, oh. Um, one of his other weaknesses as well is his missing lower jaw. So Otto Octavius, who at the time was impersonating Spider-Man, punched Max so hard it bit <laughs> Knocked his jaw clean off his head. <laughs> Consequently, Gargan can no longer speak or eat properly. No! <laughs> oh, no! no! Oh, I'm so, I'm so scared. Oh, I'm so sorry, Scorpion. So, Lucas, let's just collect ourselves and go over what we just learned. Scorpion is a formidable opponent who cannot take off his scorpion suit, cannot walk, and cannot feed himself. <laughs> What part of that sounds formidable to you? Oh, the poor guy. At least, though, though, we can get on to, like, the final thing we should obviously discuss is the scorpion suit itself. Cause, like, Matt Gargan himself possesses very, relatively few superhuman natural abilities, but he does have a scorpion suit. So maybe this is his ace in the hole. Maybe this is what makes him such a formidable opponent. Clearly, out of it, he's a guy who can't walk or eat. <laughs> so he doesn't sound that scary. Let's find out. Or live which I'd argue is probably like, you know, more important. So let's find out what he can do when he's in it, shall we? Equipment, the scorpion suit. As the scorpion, Matt Gargan wears a full body battle suit, which has undergone several major revisions in his long criminal career. These were always courtesy of third party suppliers, since Gargan himself possesses no aptitude for engineering. Oh, come on! <laughs> Even in the bit talking about his signature piece of equipment, it's like, yeah, he's still shit though. You, still have to you had to throw in there, didn't you? So here's something I didn't know, actually. The scorpion suit contains a transparent membrane employed by Justin Hammer, which is placed over Matt Gargan's eye holes, which are covered by um, a special fluid that would dissolve Spider-Man's webbing. And the reason they did that is because every time he fought Spider-Man, Spider-Man beat him by blinding him with his webbing. <laughs> and Gargan never upgraded. It's like, oh, God. <laughs> Oh, and then it also says, well, the scorpion gloves on his costume had miniature pincers in each hand. <laughs> like, they sound, everything about scorpion sounds so pathetic. Yeah. Like, oh, he can spring himself with his tail and he's got little pincers. <laughs> it's like Spider-Man punched his jaw off by accident. <laughs> What's he got? I've got some pincers. He's, he's basically like that clamps guy from Future Armor. <laughs> Looks like he's basically saying, yeah, I can get you with these. Lucas, we can end as we often do on trivia. There's only a few notes about the scorpion, and they all mm -hmm. continue the trend of just dunking on him. Oh, so, God. So we have here that while he was part of Hammer, he was granted security clearance level five. Um, we can move straight past that because it's not as interesting as. It was said by Caprice that he has a very weak mind. Oh, no. And that his mental defenses are low, and that he's easily able to be manipulated by tele like, telepaths. Oh, man. And then, for some reason, the final bit of trivia about him is he is Islamophobic. What? That's just, he just says, Scorpion is Islamophobic. Oh, Scorpion. Hell. Like, it just says that. It's like, when did that come up in the comics? I don't know. Like, is that like, I bet that's like an Easter egg or something where it's like they have on, like, a... a splash page of villains facebook profiles and just you've got scorpion sharing some very very like you know shady memes oh god man just, 
Lucas. Formidable foe. I feel a bit less sorry for him now. <laughs> you know what? I'm glad that he got his jaw punched off. Yeah. Fuck him. <laughs>